Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk to you about a different aspect of language learning. Something that isn't discussed that often, namely, can language learning or learning languages become too much, a burden even? Can that even happen? Um, you may have seen this, these polyglots on YouTube uh, who speak multiple languages, uh, you wanted to be like them, uh, study two, three, four languages at the same time. But have you ever considered if, if, this, if it's really worth it, if, if this is something that you really want to do? I want to share with you my frustration when it comes to learning new languages. I would like to give you some examples and reasons why I won't be learning new languages in the future. So here we go. Reason number one. I would rather focus on improving the languages I already know than learn new ones. Why? Because learning a new language, truly learning it, takes time. It takes a lot of your patience, diligence, energy, and it's a never-ending process. I know from personal experience that it's very easy to fall in the trap of becoming used to picking up new languages, showing off, uh, showing your skills to others, but you never really get to speak them very well. I know it's a lot of fun, it's exciting, and I totally see the beauty in it, but it's not for me. I have different priorities, and I would explore fewer languages, study them thoroughly, read in those languages, speak fluently with people about different topics, just as I would do uh, in my native language. I, I realized pretty soon that it's impossible to, to reach native-like fluency in 10 or 15 languages. Reason number two. It's difficult to maintain them. Anyone who speaks multiple languages can confirm this. The more languages you speak, uh, the more difficult it gets to maintain them at a decent level. Reason number three, I never really wanted to become a polyglot. Um, I played with the idea, of course, and but maybe it kind of happened uh, naturally or without me wanting it that much. Uh, this is the irony. Um, mi consejo, simplemente concéntrate en el idioma que más deseas aprender. Las razones uh, pueden variar de persona a persona. Tal vez lo estás aprendiendo porque necesitas, uh, lo necesitas en el trabajo, quieres viajar, etc. Yo vi este muchas veces y también lo experimenté. Uh, recuerdo que hace tres años cuando comencé a aprender español, no estaba pensando en convertirme en una políglota, ¿no? ¿Sabes? Es, uh, <risa> ahora eso es muy, muy divertido, ¿no? Uh, que estoy hablando en esos idiomas. Um, es es wahr, es es wirklich wahr, dass ich schon vier Sprachen gesprochen hatte, bevor ich Spanisch gelernt habe. Uh, aber ich hatte keine, keine wahre Erfahrung im Sprachlernen. Ich hatte deutsche und englische Unterricht in der Schule, aber ich hatte auch... Uh, Sogar äh, Privatlehrer, äh, ich habe auch alleine gelernt, aber das war so eine Mischung. Ich hatte ein großes Interesse für Sprachlernen, äh, aber ich habe ich, ich hab es ab und zu gemacht. Weißt du, ich, ich hatte nie einen engen Zeitplan oder ähnliches. Und vielleicht deswegen wollte ich mir beweisen, dass äh, ich eine äh, neue Sprache lernen kann. Um, ohne Hilfe, ohne, ohne Unterstützung uh, anderer Leute und naja, es ist sehr, es ist sehr uh, uh, lustig, weil ich habe nie uh, eine bewusste Entscheidung getroffen, dass ich in der Zukunft Polyglot werden möchte. Das ist nur so passiert. Simplemente me gustaba el español porque sonaba bien, um, era, es una lengua uh, bellísima, y, pero Yo, yo creo que una razón aún más fuerte era porque quería demostrarme a mí mismo que, que soy capaz de mantener una rutina relativamente estricta, uh, ser constante y hacer una cosa, uh, la misma cosa todos los días y hacer progreso de, de esa manera, ¿no? paso a paso. Y yo lo hice, y después de cinco meses uh, pude uh, hablar de cualquier cosa en, en español, um, um, ver películas, leer libros, etc. Um, pero después um, empezaba a, a jugar con la idea de aprender uh, más y más idiomas, uh, francés, holandés, portugués, ruso, 
¿Por qué? No sé por qué. De verdad, no sé. Maybe, maybe, or I'm pretty sure this was the reason. I saw other polyglots on YouTube uh, who I had been following at the time and they made it seem so easy, you know, picking up new languages. Um, so I'm pretty sure this was the reason why I continued learning languages myself. But guess what happened in the meantime? I realized that Spanish, the language I love the most, was slowly fading away. And um, yeah, why was that happening? Because I was focusing on new languages. And this brings us to reason number four. You will forget the language if you don't practice it. It's simple as that. So I freaked out and I wanted to have an even tighter schedule. I said to myself, hmm, let's see. On Monday, I will be practicing some French. Uh, on Tuesday, I will improve my Portuguese. And Wednesday will be the day uh, when I will refresh my German. But yeah. I got ex exhausted, uh, it led to burnout, and um, I, I wasn't enjoying the process. Au cours de les derniers cinq mois, j'étais au Luxembourg travaillant pour le Parlement européen euh, en tant que traducteur. Et comme il y a trois langues officielles en Luxembourg, euh, le luxembourgeois, le français et l'allemand, je me suis dit que j'essaierais de, euh, d'améliorer mon français de focaliser euh, toute mon énergie sur le français, d'utiliser ce temps pour lire, euh, pour parler le français, etc. Le mois que je, euh, que je pouvais faire est de prendre euh, le journal quotidien qui était euh, euh, gratuit et j'ai créé cette petite habitude que de, euh, après euh, le travail, je, je suis allé euh, pour prendre le journal, euh, j'ai lu euh, pendant, je lisais pendant 20 et, ou 30 minutes et maintenant je suis très fier parce que euh, qu'est-ce que je voulais faire euh, au passé, j'ai toujours euh, voulu euh, apprendre euh, toute cette langue à la même temps, le, le, le portugais, le français, l'espagnol, etc. Mais c'est très difficile. Alors Maintenant, en Luxembourg, j'ai focalisé, euh, j'ai choisi euh, euh, seulement une langue, la langue française, et je voulais euh, euh, l'améliorer, non? Euh, et c'est très, c'est très, je suis très heureux parce que seulement lisant, lisant chaque jour pendant 20 euh, et 30 minutes, je pouvais améliorer mon français. Et ça m'aidait beaucoup euh, cette période au Luxembourg et, et voilà. Hamar megtetszett ez a szokás, és amit én visszajöttem Magyarországra, mindenképp szerettem volna folytatni az idegen nyelven való olvasást, meg szerettem volna tartani ezt a jó szokást. Ezért nagyon megörültem, amikor megtaláltam ezt a nagyon klassz könyvtárat, és Hát egyszerűen elképesztő volt, hogy 50 nyelven, 50 különböző nyelven uh, találhatók itt könyvek. Igaz, hogy a többségük franciául, angolul, németül vagy spanyolul van, de ettől függetlenül uh, mindenképp van választék. És pont ez a, ez a nagy választék volt az, ami, uh, ami miatt frusztrált uh, lettem. And this leads us to reason number five. Uh, total confusion. Total confusion, my friends. Um, it was. Um, I I noticed this that uh, when it comes to language learning, um, especially language learning, I get uh, indecisive, um, unable to make uh, clear decisions uh, regarding which language to focus on, which language to read or watch movies. As it keeps a heavy deck, hogy ott találtam magam a sok könyv között, és nem tudtam melyiket válaszom. Uh, vegyek ki egy könyvet franciául, portugálul, spanyolul, oroszul, um, és, és tudtam már akkor, hogy bármelyik könyvet is venném ki, nem fogom élvezni az olvasást. Végül négy könyvet vettem ki, négy különböző nyelven. De csak az egyiket olvasom most, uh, egy spanyol könyvet. <laughs> so the conclusion would be to uh, choose only one language, decide which language you really want to uh, learn and stick with it. I know it's, it's very easy to get influenced by mainstream media, YouTube polyglots, Duolingo nerds even, who list 25 languages on their profile, but the only thing they're doing is learning how to say hi and thanks in all of those languages. 
Uh, I know, I don't want to generalize, of course, so there are always exceptions, but most of the time it's like this. So don't get frustrated when you see these kind of people. Uh, and before moving on to learning a new language, um, think about it. Why do you really want to learn that language? Have a clear purpose and vision, okay? And I think it's uh, like this with literally everything in life. It's much better to choose uh, one or two things and uh, become an expert in them than doing uh, 10 different things, but none of them effectively or uh, seriously, right? So now I'm really curious, um, especially if you speak multiple languages, I'm really curious if you had this kind of frustration before. Um, and if so, then please share it with me in the comment section. I'm, I'm very curious to read your comments and hope to see you to see you guys next time hopefully it won't uh, i won't wait three another three months before posting a new video so stay tuned bye